What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're showcasing a 100% free to play Int Android 21 and believe it or not, I did not rainbow her simply because she's waifu material, which she is, but at the same time she's a fantastic support unit and you guys will discover that in just a second. Also, I know there are a bunch of people out there who have been curious about whether or not she's worth investing orbs into, so if you're one of those people, then hopefully watching this video today will help you make that decision. Now, without further ado, let's take a quick look at what she's all about. So first things first, her stats as a free-to-play unit are not going to be the most impressive. Here they are at rainbow status, and like I said, there's really not much to look at here, so let's just jump right over to her leader skill. And her leader skill is actually quite good for a free-to-play category lead. She gives Android category units key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Keep in mind that Ultra Instinct Goku, the physical one, only provides a 30% buff to his category. As for her super attack, she causes supreme damage to the enemy and recovers 7% HP, so she's an excellent healer. And her passive gives androids, category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%. So that, combined with the fact that she heals you for 7% HP every time she supers, makes her one of the best, if not the best, free-to-play support units in the entire game. Now, moving on to her hidden potential skills. As you can see, I went with a bit of a different build than I normally do for these showcases, mainly because she is a pure support unit, so she doesn't really need the crits for that damage. Instead, I gave her 15 additional so that she can launch more super attacks and heal your team more, and also 11 dodge so that hopefully at some point in this showcase, we'll get to see some Ultra Instinct Android 21 action. And last but not least, we got her link skills. She's got Android Assault, Metamorphosis, Battlefield Diva, Brainiacs, Shocking Speed, Big Bad Bosses, and Shattering the Limit. She's got some good links in there. And she's currently on two categories on Global, Androids and Peppy Gals. Now with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into it with an Androids category team. And we're going to take her through the tech transforming Frieza Dokkan event because I feel like it. So let's just do it, guys. And for anyone that's curious about why I'm not taking a double physical Android 17 lead team, the answer is pretty simple. Um, I never pulled him. So <laughs> when I did my uh, summoning video, I pulled Android 16 first multi, I pulled Android 21 second multi, and I never got Android 17, who I would have preferred, obviously. He was like the main goal, but you know what? I'm happy with what I got. And you know, she's actually not a terrible lead. She's, wait, what am I saying? She's an awesome lead. She provides 150% boost to HP, attack, and defense, which is only 20% attack less than Android 17. So, you know what? Maybe she'll do a little bit more damage if you did a double 17 lead, but it's not gonna be that significant. And like I said, she's a support unit. So, damage is not the main factor here. All right. So, we have her in this rotation, first rotation here. I ideally want to link her up with the STR 21, but we'll keep it as, as is right now so that we can see her in every rotation, every second rotation at least. And then uh, I'll try to get the 21 in the same rotation as her, as her later on. So, here we go. First attack, of course, she does have type advantage. So, her numbers are going to be a little bit nicer than no type advantage or type disadvantage, which is pretty obvious. I don't know why I even said that. <laughs> but let's see what she can do. Let's see what she can do. Of course, she is a support unit. 432k. That's actually not too bad. 432k and her super attack looks awesome. No question about that. Awesome looking super attack. Um, I, I like the fact they did do put more effort into these super attacks even for free to play units these days. So, you know, that's that's good it's good on you Bandai. Good job. Or Akatsuki. You know, Akatsuki is the developer. Bandai is kind of the publisher, I guess. But, you know, credit goes to both of them. Alright, I'm going to put her back there and uh, give these guys these orbs. You know, it, it doesn't really matter what I give them. At the end of the day, we're not showcasing them, but I will put Android 21 at the back here so that eventually she'll come back in like three rotations and link up with the Int one, the free-to-play one that we're trying to showcase right now. Also, one thing to note, like one thing I want to mention is that one of my buddies actually told me that he thinks that a lot of people still don't really understand exactly how rotations and Dokkan work. And I made a video a while ago about exactly how it works like just explaining everything but back then i had a lot less subscribers so i got a lot less views on my videos and as such i don't think a lot of people saw that video so 
maybe it's time for an update. You know, maybe I'll do an updated video. And I think that one was kind of long too. I think it went like, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, something like that. So maybe I can do like a three to four minute video just explaining quickly to everyone how exactly rotations work in this game. And I guess it really depends on how many people would actually watch it. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys think it would be useful for you or for just other people that are playing Dokkan or new to Dokkan right now and whether or not I should make this video because it is going to take a little bit of effort, right? So if I could spend that time doing something else, then maybe I should just do something else instead, right? So I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Maybe I should do an updated video. If not, then, you know, just forget about it <laughs> because I feel like it is a fairly basic concept, but there are people that don't understand it. And if you don't understand it, then it's actually going to really hamper your ability to play the game to the best of your ability, right? All right. Um, here we go, here we go. Random orbs, that doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm gonna try to save some, I guess, mm, int orbs for the int 21, but it doesn't really matter because she is pretty self-key, key self-sufficient. Self-sufficient for key, that's what I'm trying to say. She's pretty self-sufficient because she does give herself the plus two key, and when she's also linked up with the STR one, they also give each other key as well, so, Key shouldn't be much of an issue here. I do like the fact that we're below 80% health. We're like way below 80%. Actually, I hope we don't die. <laughs> but we are way below 80% health, so we will get big bad bosses off as well. Just hoping that Frieza doesn't super us here so that we die before we get to the next turn. That would, be just, that would just be awful. Like it happens. It's happened to me before. I've done it plenty of times in showcases where I just randomly died because I wasn't paying attention. I was focused on talking to you guys. So I really don't want that to happen today. All right, um, let's put her in the front here. Oh, nice. So we got a little bit of healing from the link. Oh, is it Metamorphosis? I think it's Metamorphosis, right? Uh, yeah, they both share Metamorphosis, which is a 5% recovery. Awesome. And also, Int21 is going to be healing us with her um, super as well. So there's going to be a good amount of healing on this team if you link these two girls up. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. She's tanking, she's tanking quite well. Tanking for triple digit, double digit damage. Her attack stat went up to 583k. Can we get a nice crit here? Nope. Oh, I didn't even give her crits. What I'm talking about? <laughs> I didn't give her crits, but you know what? That was still decent damage. She, she is purely here for support. Any additional damage she can do is awesome, but it's not expected of her. It's not expected of her. And I'm, I'm fairly impressed, honestly, by the damage that we've seen so far. Um, oh, and also yesterday, <laughs> since, since we're playing with this guy right now, yesterday I did do a showcase of the STR Perfect Cell Rainbowed as well. So if you guys are curious to check that out, then go take a look um, on my channel, I guess, and you'll find it as the last video. I mean, it depends on when you're watching this, I guess. Actually, it doesn't matter, because regardless of when you're watching this, this will be the video that comes after that showcase. So just look for the video that comes before this one on my channel, go check it out if you guys are curious. He is a fantastic unit. I feel like he's very underrated and the tech, um, the perfect cell is, definitely gets a lot more attention because he is right now a better unit with his EZA. But you know what? Don't sleep on this man. But you know what? We're not, we're not talking about perfect cell right now. This is not his showcase, right? This is not his showcase. The showcase is for the N21, who I'm fairly impressed by right now. Next turn, what we're gonna do is pop a, uh, doesn't matter, Deborah cookie or takoyaki, Mm, what, what am I in the mood for right now? I'm feeling a takoyaki. Let's do takoyaki, and it's gonna be a bit of a nuke test. Um, it's not gonna be crazy, but basically what happens is that the takoyaki is the same thing as the Deborah cookie, where everything it changes gives an additional 5% attack, like for every orb that you pop that got changed. So here she should be getting like a 100% attack boost or something. Doesn't really make a huge difference when it comes to just every, like, running events normally, but at the same time, it's like a fun thing that I like to do, so we're gonna do it. Let's see what happens here. 875k, nice, not bad at all. And she's gonna hit Frieza for 719k, and of course we got the 7% healing as well. And whoa, yo, how is 21 doing so much damage right now? What, what just happened there? Let me think, let me think. I, I guess it's just all the support from the int 21. I was like, the STR 21's attack is extraordinarily high there. Like, because she has no dupes or anything, um, she normally does like 800k, maybe 900k, but that was one point, like 1.4 mil-ish. Not bad, man, not bad. And we still got one more stage to go. I think, you know, for today's showcase, I might just do this one event, because I feel like there's not much to see here when it comes to this unit, but 
um, I think it's still good to do a showcase so that you guys can see what she can do at Rainbow Status. But you don't really need like a second event to discover like what she's all about. Like this is this is what she is, man. She's a good support unit that can deal some solid damage and is honestly, I, I personally believe one of the best free to play support units in this game. And I think she she really showed out here. So there's nothing else I can say. She's she's great. And I, I, I like how, I, I like the HP going back and forth every time I like take the link off. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop messing around. Let's, let's, let's get this sh showcase over with. And uh, maybe she can show us a, an additional. Additional would be nice too. And just because I went with, you know, dodge and uh, crits doesn't, or additionals doesn't mean that you have to build yours the same way. If you want to do crits, go for it. Like, like you can see, she does do some pretty decent damage, so... If you combine that with some crits, then she could actually be like one of your secondary damage dealers on the team, right? What was that attack? I think that went up pretty high too. Damn, dude. Oh, that, but that, that damage was like nothing though. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever, whatever. Oh, one thing I did want to mention to you guys. Um, if you guys have been following me for a little while, you guys know my girlfriend Taya, right? She plays the game as well, and her luck is just like stupid, right? She, she can pull anything she wants in a very limited amount of stones and I, it's just doesn't even surprise me at this point like I'm just kind of used to it <laughs> I'm kind of expecting it every time a new batter comes out so of course yesterday when I was filming uh, I got a text from her and she just showed me a multi of her pulling physical 17 and I'm like that was your first multi wasn't it she's like yeah first multi <laughs> so she got 17 I still don't have him I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna go back in but Yo, Taya is definitely like a Bandai spy or something. Oh, she, she, she just got some kind of secret going on because I don't know how she's doing it. I like She hasn't told me the secret. Um, and as her boyfriend, I feel like she should let me in on whatever secret or whatever deal she has with Bandai that allows her to pull mad fire like this because it's just not fair, man. It's just it's not cool at this point. It's really not cool at this point. <laughs> uh, but you know, I still love her. Still not salty, still happy for her. Like I said, every every time she pulls fire, I'm not salty. I'm just I'm happy for her. Just happiness, no other emotions. Hopefully we can get a Dokkan attack off here. That'd be that'd be sick. Um so we'll give her the purple. Give her these reds, and I think that's Dokkan Oh, and the blue? Dokkan attack? Dokkan attack. Okay, let's not screw this up. Focus, Tiger. Come on, I'm gonna focus. Let's hit all seven of these. Don't be too fast, please. One, two, oh my god. Three, four, ah! Okay, that was fast, but I got it. Fast, but I got it. Yo, yo, props to me. Pat myself on the back. All right, let's see what she does here. I'm gonna guess somewhere in the range of one mil to 1.5 mil, because after all, we do have the type advantage. Oh, eight, eight, yo, 888k. Not bad, not bad. I like that, I like that. Great support unit, you know, like, when, when support units start doing upwards of a million damage, like, you know they're a good support unit, especially when they have a great support passive and they also heal you. So, I think she's totally worth it, man. Like, I, I, I got nothing else to say about her. Like, nothing but love for this unit. And of course, she is waifu material. She is absolutely bae. So, if nothing else, but just that reason, then she's still worth the orbs. <laughs> I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I had fun with it. It was one of the shorter ones, but like I said, I don't think we need to do another additional event. You guys have seen everything there is to really see about her, and uh, she is just a fantastic. She is fantastic. I, I just really am really, really happy about the fact that they are giving us better and better free-to-play units as the game progresses, which makes sense, right? But some of these free-to-play units are getting better than some older Dokkan Fest units, which is awesome. That's really, really awesome that Free to play players can now have some really top tier units as well. And of course, yo, don't even get me started with like LR Vegito Blue, who is still one of the best units in the game. Better than a lot of summonable LRs, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but there you have it, guys. This was my showcase of the Int Free to Play Android 21. Fantastic support unit. If you have a Android team to run, then investing orbs into her is definitely not a bad choice. But that's all for today. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about her and whether or not you're gonna rainbow her. Just like take the plunge, invest those orbs, and get yourself a rainbow waifu. <laughs> As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, or you've been around for a while and you decided that maybe today is the day, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button 
join the Tiger Squad now. And also, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.